What's up guys, I'm Uriel Soto and in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to set up a minimum and maximum order amount on your WooCommerce store. Now it's gonna work just like this. So whenever someone adds a certain amount on your website, my uh, minimum amount is 50, so clearly this is not gonna go through. And they get this message here that says that they have to order at least more than $50. And their current total is 18. So if I were to even try to go to my checkout page, as you can tell, I'm clicking here, it's refreshing. And it doesn't allow me to go to my checkout page. Now that's just because I have my uh, minimum set to 50. Now you can also set a maximum as well. And then you, there's even an option to send people to the checkout, but they're not able to even place the order. Um, so I kind of go through all the options. Now, if you do find this video helpful, make sure to squash the like button for the YouTube algorithm. And if you haven't subscribed already, make sure to do that as well. Now, if you guys want to learn how to create your minimum and maximum amount for your WooCommerce store, go ahead and stick around. So let's begin. Now, the first thing that we need to do is download a plugin. So head over to your dashboard, go into plugins, click on add new, and go ahead and search for WooCommerce minimum. And then scroll down. And you're going to want to install this plugin here called Order Minimum Maximum Amount for WooCommerce. And it was just recently updated and it has good reviews. And it has about 2,000 installs, which is pretty good. Okay, so then click Update. And then go to your WooCommerce, go into Settings. And then go into Order Minimum Maximum Amount here, right at the end. Okay, so now we just have some op options here. So as you can tell, our um, limits are gonna be minimum and maximum, which is just gonna be a minimum order amount and a maximum order amount. And with the types that we want are sum and quantity. So you can have, let's say, a certain price amount that you may want, which will be your sum, and then your quantity can be um, how, many, how many products they can order uh, for that specific, um, it could be for a specific product, you can even set it, or just in general, let's say, you have a product that's in high demand, but you only want people to order, order um, they're only allowed to order one product. Um, and you can go ahead and actually set those up. So and I'll be showing you guys how to do that. So from here, we have, um, some, um, we have some other settings here. We want to order total. You can even add, sorry, you can even add a weight as well and value. So that's something that you can do. Um, you can exclude taxes from the sum, which I feel like is definitely something that I want to do. Um, you can exclude shipping, definitely gonna exclude that, exclude discounts, you can exclude that as well, exclude fees, um, that's totally up to you. And then you can do a block checkout process, block uh, checkout page, so you can even block the checkout page, that's something that you wanted to do. Um, but instead I'm just gonna have it, I'm just gonna have it like that. But I mean you can even block it, we'll actually go through that and we'll test that out, we'll see how that is when we click block. Um, and then let me go to the mounts. So for instance, my minimum sum, I had it set to 50, but I'm gonna go ahead and just remove this. You're gonna, you're gonna have these at zero. I, I was just, um, just kind of doing that earlier. So here, I'm gonna go ahead and set this up to about, um, yeah, let's, you know what, let's do the same. Let's do about 250 and let's do about 200 as well. Now we can have a minimum quantity. Now let's say we only want them to order about maybe two products or four products only, you can have that as well. That would be the minimum quantity and then the maximum quantity of products um, they can order maybe would be six. I mean, the minimum maybe set it to just one. Um, so they have to at least order one product or they have to at least order maybe three or whatever that may be. I'm gonna just have these set to zero. I'm not really gonna use those too much, but that um, kind of depends on how you wanna go ahead and use that. And then I'm gonna go ahead and click save. And then I'm gonna go into my messages here. Now you will most likely have this, um, you will have that unchecked. I highly suggest you have this checked because you do wanna give them a notice, not an error, I wanna give them a notice. So go ahead and check, um, you wanna enable this a cart and this will pretty much give them a big message at the top that tells them that they have to order a certain amount in order to check out. So that we can go ahead and click enable because we want them to get this message um, on the, on the checkout as well. And here's a, the message for the sum. Here's a message for the maximum. So you guys can go ahead and um, touch that up however you please. 
I'm going to go ahead and leave it as is. I think that's fine. And they even have some uh, snippets here that you can use as well for your messages. And then I'm going to go into user roles here. And then you can also you can also enable this and you can set this to specific users. Let's say you only want this for your customers. Um, you can set it for your customers as well. And then you can go ahead and, and set up the minimum, maximum and all this other stuff for it as well. But I'm going to go ahead and leave it as is for now. I'm really going to use that. And then we just have our users as well. You can enable this per user. Well, which I think it might be a pro feature. I'm not really going to do that. We can have a uh, shipping out, which is also in, a lot of this is also enabled, I think, for the pro as well. But you can do shipping as well. You can even set it to uh, certain certain currencies as well. But this is all set to the pro. And then we have over here uh, the products, which is which is also set to the pro to exclude certain products. But I mean, to be honest, I just want to have this for all my products. So that's fine. I don't need any of those pro features. If that is something that you need, then you may want to look into buying the, the plugin. OK, so now from here, I'm going to go ahead and just test this out. I'm going to go into one of my product T-shirts page. Now, if you guys are wondering how I created this category page, I do have a video on this on my channel. Um, you guys can go ahead and check that out. So anyway, currently right now, I have about $20 in here. Let me go ahead and go to checkout here. And as you can tell, I get a big message up here that tells me that that I need to go ahead and and um, order order more than uh, than $50 here. And I also get this message on my um, my card. That's why it's important to to enable those options there. So then you get this uh, message as well. And then people can proceed. And I'll, I'll even try to order this. So just kind of give you guys a little test here. So I'll place my order. And as you can tell, everything's in green. So it should have gone through. And the order just won't go through. And we'll, they'll get this message. So that they'll know off the bat that, um, that they can't order. So what we can do instead. Now let's say if I go ahead and go into one of these products here again. And then I'm just going to start adding these to my car. And let me get you go into accessories. These are a bit more expensive on the accessory side. So you can go ahead and adjust those here. All right, so maybe now it says that my maximum is 200. So I can't I can't order more than 200. So I'm going to have to remove some products and it has to be lower than 200. So now, as you can tell, I don't get that message anymore and I can easily proceed to my order. Um, now I can just go ahead and click here. And it's all set. So my order went through. Now, let's say I don't want people to go um, to go to the checkout page. I don't want them to even get to the checkout page. Right. Because that's some, something that we would probably want to do instead of having people go to the checkout page and try to order. And then there's you know, there's always those people that see a message and they still try to order, you know, um and they're wondering why they think it's an issue on on the website and not an issue that they're doing so maybe it's better to even block them from going to the checkout and maybe we can give them like uh, a message instead so let's go ahead and try that option um so let's go to let's go over here and go to block from checkout page let's see if we can do that all right now let's go to view site and let's go to some categories here and let's go ahead and add some categories now I know that my minimum is 20. So let me try to check out here. And I'm gonna try to go to checkout. And as you can tell, I'm trying to go to checkout here, I'm clicking it, but it won't go through. And I get this message up above. So we know that it's working and everything's looking great. So that's pretty much it for this video. Um, if you guys did find this helpful, make sure to squash the like button just for the algorithm just so then uh, more people can find this video. And as always, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.